Hi everybody, Jacob Reed here from ReviewEcon.com. Today we're going over the 2023 microeconomics exam. This is question number three from set one. In order to do well on this question, you should be through unit three. After watching this video, if you still need a little more help, head over to ReviewEcon.com and pick up the total review booklet. It has everything you need to know to ace your microeconomics or macroeconomics exam. Let's get into it. So this question provides us with a graph and we're going to analyze it for this question. This is a profit maximizing, perfectly competitive firm called Hansel Hangout and they produce good X. First, we are asked to calculate the total fixed cost of Hansel Hangout and show our work. Now there is no total fixed cost on this graph, but you can find the average fixed cost pretty easily. That is going to be found at the difference between the average total cost and average variable cost at any quantity on this graph. And then once you have found the average fixed cost, you're going to multiply that by the quantity to get your total fixed cost. On this graph, you could do this at the quantity of six, eight, or four. Any of them will get you the same answer. I'm picking the quantity of six right there. Essentially, I'm going to be calculating the area of that rectangle right there. And calculating the area there gives us $21 minus $9 times six units, $72 of total fixed cost. And if you have it properly calculated, you get your first point. For part B, we have to identify the profit maximizing price and quantity of Hansel Hangout. Remember, all profit maximizing firms are going to produce where MR equals MC. And since this firm is a price taker, thanks to them being a perfectly competitive firm, that demand curve is going to be horizontal at the market price. And so let's find our profit maximizing quantity, which is six, then follow that demand curve over to that Y axis. And that gives us a profit maximizing price of $14. Simply state those, the price is $14, the quantity is six, and you get your next point. For part C, we have to calculate the profit that Hansel Hangout gets and show our work. Now this question is a little bit tricky here because the profit is actually negative because that average total cost curve is well above the demand curve. So this firm is not making any profit, they're suffering economic losses. But we can still calculate a negative profit here. First we find the average profit, that's the difference between the average total cost curve and the price at the profit maximizing quantity, and then we multiply that by the quantity produced. Essentially we're calculating the area of that rectangle right there. That is the loss box. So calculate it all out, $14 minus $21 times six gives us negative $42 of economic profit. For part D, we are told to assume that the market for good X adjusts to a new long run equilibrium. We have to say what will happen to the price of good X and explain. Now remember, perfectly competitive firms have low barriers to entry and exit. That means that the long run price is going to be found at the minimum of the average total cost curve where the firm breaks even. And that's because firms always enter or exit, shifting the supply in the market, bringing the price to that level. So that leads us to our answer here. The price will rise to $20 because economic losses will cause firms to exit the market, shifting the supply to the left, rising the price to the minimum of the firm's average total cost curve. For part E, we are told to assume that the cross price elasticity between good X and good C is positive. And given the long run change in the price we just saw for good X, we're asked if the quantity demanded for good C will increase, decrease, or remain the same. And we have to explain. Now, since this is a positive cross price elasticity, that means these goods are substitutes. And when goods are substitutes, an increase in the price of one good will lead to an increase in the demand for the other good. And so that means our answer is increase because the positive cross price elasticity indicates good X and good C are substitutes. So when the price of good X increases, the demand for good C will also increase. If you have an answer something like that, you get your last point. And there you have it. Those are the answers to the 2023 microeconomics exam, question number three from set one. If you still need more help, head over to reviewecon.com and pick up the total review booklet. That's it for now. I'll see y'all next time.